Hello, guys. It's me again. <laughs> um, I just realized I pick a very、uh, hard topic to start my week, so <laughs> so I'm gonna try to ease myself.、Um, it's funny that、like、every I realize every day I'm just had really had to you know talk to myself not to give up on this. Otherwise, my fear will overcome. Uh, no, my fear would、uh, convince me to give it up. It's easy for me to give it up, but <laughs> I, you know, I really need to make some mental effort to speak in front of everybody. So,、um, my name is Rong Huang. I'm an author and life coach, and also a psychic.、Um, the reason I'm starting this channel is because、um, I notice in general people have a fear of unknown. I mean, I was one of you too before. That's why I'm, I'm doing this <laughs> because you know when when you don't really know how things work, when you don't know what's gonna happen in the future, or when when you don't know where things are going, like usually that kind of、um, unknown sensation usually would give you、uh, would make you feel kind of scared. I think、um, that's why I'm here today、um, because I wish. I mean, it took really long time for me to come to this point. Like I finally understand everything connected together, and then there's really no need to be scared or afraid of the unknown. So I think I start to realize、um, the best way to overcome that fear is actually not to avoid it, but to know about it. The more you know about something that you don't know, the more you you will not be afraid of it. So anyway. Today our topic is、uh, what happened to Lowe's who killed himself.、Um, last week we already talked about the ghost, and then I explained it to you.、Um, ghost to me、um, is not limited to human, but most mostly mean the soul who do not have a physical form. And last week I also talked about why to me there are two different category of the ghost. One is the one who died from natural impact, or cause, or unpredictable, you know, cause, things like that. The other kind is、um, those who kill themselves. So today we're gonna talk about what happened to those who kill themselves.、Um, the reason I explain is very、uh, different from normal ghosts. See, normal ghosts when they die, they have you know roughly about seventy two hours, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter.、Um, For them to let go of their identity before they die, and then they evolve to soul. But those who kill themselves have a very、uh, a slightly different process than that.、Um, the ghosts who kill themselves have a tendency of they cannot hear me. So you will probably hear a story here and there. Talk,、uh, psychic talk about how it's hard for them to work with、uh, those who kill themselves. The reason of that is、um, for those people who tend to kill themselves,、um, they tend to start a story before they die. That story usually start with you know I don't nobody love me. I'm all left out, or you know I'm alone. I cannot see any way out. That's simply you know it's hopeless. So so they don't just kill themselves for the fun of it. Um, they they usually have some kind of story or some kind of story that、uh, start creating、um, before they die that that might make them have a very impulsive decision. This is it. This is the the only solution I can have for myself. So what I try to say is that story that you that person that start creating before they make the decision they decide to create themselves. What they do not know is that story then start forming、uh, almost、um, called some proof. Isolating room, like where that soul is gonna stay after they die. So,、um, which is sucks. I will tell you why sucks. <laughs> the story usually wrap around about、um, how they they've been forgotten in this world, how they got no way out, how how there there's no、um, nobody's there for them, nobody's、uh, love them. They simply don't see anything, so you know they sometimes may even see other people and have that jealousy or something that's brewing inside them. That emotion or that scenario, which is、um, 
may or may not be true, but depends on what they truly believe, right? Like, because I could love someone, but if it's not the way they like it, they might assume I don't love them. So in this case, uh, what I try to say is we focus on the story that person created for themselves before they die, and then they decide to kill themselves. So after they kill themselves, their, their soul um, cannot really just let go. Um, it couldn't just end there. So what it does happen is they start living in this room that almost a virtual reality that which I tell you is totally soundproof for outside world and is very in isolated. So what this room does is <laughs> it replay the scenario. We replay the scenario for you to uh, till the moment that you kill yourself. It, it replay the scenario what you, why you believe people don't love you, why you believe um, this is happening to you, why you believe there's no way out. So if you, the reason you kill yourself is because you have a very mean boss, let's give that as an example, and this boss, every day you go to work and this mean boss just really bullying you and things like that, what this room does, which I say is some proof virtual reality room, is it, it will start from very first incident this boss is being mean to you. And then it will continuously playing incident over and over and over until in, um, you cannot take it anymore and you make the same decision again to kill yourself again as a ghost. Uh, but we all know ghosts cannot die again, right? So the moment you make that same decision again, um, it kind of hit a replay button, so they start over again and then play that scenario again. Oh, there's a reason for this, and i seen so many ghosts trapping this, and it was hard for me to watch because I realized how, how hard it is for them to be trapped in this dimension where I have no key and no way I can help them out of this. The only way that this room was shattered, like break apart and things like that, is... <laughs> is only when this specific soul had decided killing themselves is no longer a solution. So what they do is they will start to find a way out. Or they will say probably it repeats so many times, they're doing the same scenario over and over and over. And then to a point they just say, that's it, I can't, it, you know, it doesn't work. Killing myself just not working. So it doesn't matter what comes to them, but at the moment they start to think, I need someone to help me, other than decided that they're gonna kill themselves. This room was shattered. This room would start shattering, and then that virtual rea uh, reality room will actually start breaking apart at the moment that they have other choice than killing themselves. So once they're breaking apart, what they're becoming is they become a normal ghost. <laughs> normal ghost is they start to see what truth really is. That is to say, at the beginning, they might think um, this boss doesn't like me, you know, hate me or whatever. They start to realize that is not really what it is. You know, um, the boss might be in his story and happen to respond, you know, badly or things like that. So they start after they they. Uh, left that room, they start being in this mode, they are actually able to observe or review um, what really happened, that what actually happens. So, you know, only when they review what actually happens, they <laughs> then they will understand, you know, this is a time they can kind of let go of their identity and then they can move to the white light. I'm gonna use white light for now. I think that's easier for everybody to understand. Um, but the bad news to them too is that scenario that you couldn't overcome and then you decide to um, check out early. <laughs> the truth is the next platform, uh, the next life that you plan for yourself, most likely you have to do that over again. So. <sighs> in soul aspect, this concept sucks. It sucks big time. But, you know, there there's also benefit to it. I hope I can reach it uh, or explain this to you guys later on. But, you know, what I try to say is, what, what I really try to say here is, um, killing yourself is not a solution. I mean, 
sometimes people might even let you believe it is or it is a you know cool concept or whatever people will say out there. But for people like me who actually see them, I I see them suffer, and sometimes it's hard for me to watch. So, you know, I I just really want to propose don't. Don't even consider that as a choice, because I'm here to share. Because I, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> maybe going live is not good, but I'm here to share because there's other choice to this, and. If you know what I know, if I'm, I can find a way. I'm so sorry, but if I can, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so inappropriate, but <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up really quick anyway. So, <laughs> if there's a way I can share what I know to, with you guys, I think I can help you guys. Oh, find a way to make a better life for yourself. So, anyway, back to the topic. What happened to those who kill themselves? As hard as it is for them, I want you guys to always know they will always have higher spirit guy standing right outside. Uh, their room, waiting for them to break apart. So what I want you to know is, you're never alone. There's always people there for you. They are there to guide you. For us, who may dealing with loved one, who kill themselves, somebody they know, or even don't know, I say, my suggestion would be.、Um, Instead of telling them to live a better life, instead of telling say just just do that, just you know, just think positive and things like that. Understand what I say before they have a、oh, now I look way worse than I was <laughs> last week. Ah,、uh, okay. What I try to say is, those people who make a decision of Killing themselves, they don't just make decision right at the moment. The story is usually created long time ago. You would be able to see it, but because you will start to realize、um, they are living in their story and they couldn't really quite hear you, and then they they will slowly isolate themselves, like they are trapping themselves in this isolating room.、Um, Instead of waiting for that incident to happen, or you have suspicion that they may make the decision of killing themselves, what I'm saying is, instead of encouraging them to go, think positive or do something, and or something, you know, you you know, people give a lot of suggestions. Don't don't go there. Don't think about that and things like that, right? What I try to say is,、um, sometimes just be there. Just just be there for them. Sometimes just be there, not talking. But you know, just be there because you know they already expect someone gonna tell them how to live their life. But what about just sit there? Just sit there and then watch a movie with them. Just, just be, you know, give them your present. Give them your present to let them know they are not alone. So maybe when they're ready to listen, they will hear you. Or sometimes you just not good at sitting alone. What you do is take them out, experience the world. The more they discover who they are inside, the more they discover it's okay to be like this. That bubble will break. That's what I try to say. So, anyway, today is pretty bad performance, but I hope tomorrow will be better. <laughs> oh my goodness, not looking really bad. So, you know what? Tomorrow,、um, let's talk about incarnation. Reincarnation. The reason we talk about reincarnation is、uh, every psychic knowledge based on hugely on their background, right? So you know, if on their background this is part of their knowledge, the chances when they become sensitive, they will dig into it. 
But if on their background, this is not part of their knowing, the chances, even no matter how sensitive they are, they will not look into it. So the reason I want to talk about reincarnation is um, I am Asian, and then my background is hugely based on uh, reincarnation. So it's not just Taiwanese. Uh, it's Chinese, Japanese, Thailand, or, you know, Indian. We base a hugely, we base what we believe based hugely on reincarnation. So I, I think I need to at least bring it out and int uh, introduce it to people before I can uh, start introduce every other uh, uh, vocabulary in my mind. So anyway, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Today's topic is what happened to those who kill themselves. And I would promise I would not choose such a heavy topic <laughs> on Monday, but definitely not making Blue Monday better. So if you um, are interested in it, um, you can always go to my Facebook or go to my website at rowan.com, R-U-O-W-E-N. And hopefully I can see you tomorrow, <laughs> you know, after I tell myself not to give up. So I hope I see you guys tomorrow then at 10 o'clock. Bye.